Hi, it's Dean. I wanted to go through the investor's challenge, what I call the challenge between the short sale and the note sale. And it's fundamental. I've gone through it. I know a lot of people have gone through it. You may have already gone through it. But for those who haven't, listen to this. What are the problems or the challenges that you face doing a short sale? Well, for me, I spent four months knocking on doors for four hours every day, five days a week, crossing from San Francisco over to Oakland, trying to find Harry and Helen homeowner, Harry and Helen homeowner, Harry and Helen homeowner. If that describes you, you know what I'm talking about. Second, I had three different parties to each of my transactions. The seller, Harry and Helen homeowner, my buyer who I was trying to flip the property to, who could be a regular retail buyer or an investor, and the bank. And the bank, by the way, was the most difficult to deal with. I say was, it still is the most difficult to deal with on a short sale. How many times were you in the position, was I in the position where we were trying to get a response to a fax, to a phone call? How many times did you send in a signature authorization? on one deal and get told, oh no, it's not in the system. Please fax it through again. Well, what was the plan B? I remember spending hours and hours and days and days on two short sales. And once they were rejected, even all the time I had spent with Harry and Helen homeowner lining this thing up, there wasn't a plan B. I couldn't do anything else. Oh, and by the way, once I finished a deal with Harry and Helen Homeowner on a short sale, guess what? My next deal, I had to start again from scratch with another Harry and Helen Homeowner. There was nothing I could do to make it any easier the second time around. Oh, and back to that five hours a day driving from San Francisco over to Oakland five days a week. There is no way to do short sales other than by getting out there and knocking on doors. Quick change over to note buying. This is interesting. Why do I like note buying? There is a single source that you can tap into that could, if you get it right, be your single source of deals for the next three, four, five, or more years. If you find it, you are golden. Harry and Helen homeowner, by the way, don't even participate in a note deal. For the first step of actually getting into the deal, you will never talk to Harry and Helen homeowner ever again. Life can be simple. Real estate can be very complex. How many times have you been out listening, learning from other people, and you're being told, I need to learn about land trusts. I need to learn about no money down deals. I need to learn about the short sale and how it works. I should start learning about the note sale and how that works. I need to know how to rehab a property. I need to know I need to know. Why? I'm all about efficiency. I don't like having things that are complicated. When you get into buying notes, it's the exact same process over and over and over again to get into the deals. Make life simple. Do one thing and do it well. Oh, and you are the bank. Instead of having the talk to me please conversation, guess what? You are the bank. And now everybody, surprisingly, We'll want to talk to you. The one single technique. If you take up note buying, you'll find that there is one single piece of paper that is required to get into every single deal. Just one. That's it. It's easy. And if you only do this one technique, guess what? You find one or maybe two or three sources for your notes and you can do the same thing over and over again. You don't need to master anything else.
deal flow. You've all heard about what's happening in today's market. You know very well what you're reading about. Banks have a lot of paper, a lot of notes that are non-performing, that they want and need to sell at a discount. Once again, going back to that first joy of note buying, a single source can provide you with hundreds of loans, hundreds of deals each and every month. The irony is, I know it's counterintuitive, but you will find that once you are the bank, people will be your friends. Imagine, imagine you've got a realtor out there who's listing a home that you own a mortgage on and they're trying to get a short sale approved and you buy that loan. Well, guess what? You are now that realtor's best friend. And when you pick up the phone and answer and say, Hi, Paul, it's Dean. I'm the bank. What do you want to do? How can I help you get it done? You are suddenly everyone's best friend, including the borrowers. You don't need the deed. Four of the five tex techniques that I teach don't even require the deed. The beauty of note buying is that you don't really have to deal with property. You can deal with the paper and make very good money doing it without having to worry about all the shady dealings that, that people sometimes get into when you're trying to get the deed from Harry and Helen homeowner. And finally, I kind of like this one the best. I've got a two and a half year old and an 11 month old. Here I am at home in my pajamas. And guess what? I've never had to pick up a hammer. I've never had to pick up a paintbrush. I don't need to worry about property management. Certain cases you do. And I can do all of my research, all of my deals right from my desk. So if you're like me and you don't like working in some office and you're not really handy, I'm a lefty, you're not really handy with tools, guess what? There is a real estate investment strategy for you. Just to give you a couple of examples from our own portfolio of what these deals can look like. We bought this one for twelve and a half thousand. Bought this one means we bought the first mortgage. We didn't buy this property. And in just over three months, we made a nice little profit. How did we do this? We ended up foreclosing. There was nobody living in the home. And on the auction steps, a buyer came in and bid a lot more than we bought it for. Here's another one. This was a hurricane damaged home down in Florida. The lesson here was we were able to get into it for about 54,000 and we made just under 20,000 in profit in under a month. The lesson was you can do a deal on a destroyed property. No one could live in this. This was an investor special. And guess what? Never left the office. Never took a look at this. Never lifted a finger. Didn't do any cleanup. Closed a deal. Made a profit. Moved on. And finally, this one. This was one of the two that I've actually driven out to. I'm based here in San Francisco. This property was about 15 mile drive away. And picked up a second mortgage. 23000 was the cost. And... I kid you not, that number is right. We made $96,000 in just over a month. Curious? Want to learn more? Take a good look. Short sale, doing it over and over and over again with the borrowers, with the banks. Or a note sale, what I like to call one and done. It's about relationships. It's about simplicity. It's about building a business that makes sense and that you can do over and over again. Take a look. Come visit us at notebuyingprofits.com.